Good afternoon, everyone. How are you feeling? The virus outbreak seems to be moving to a local transmission phase in Singapore. Are you feeling anxious? It is quite natural to feel anxious at this point in time because we really do not know how the virus outbreak will develop. However, we should not become over panicky and lose our cool and correct views. As long as we exercise self-restraint, we follow strictly the government's measures to keep the virus spread under control, we will be able to help not only ourselves, but our loved ones and the people around us and all the people here in Singapore. Furthermore, we have the three jewels as our refuge. The Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, with their perfect wisdom and compassion, have the solutions to all our problems, and they will help us equally, as long as we sincerely seek their help. Whenever we feel anxious, whenever we are fearful, we should supplicate sincerely to them for help, which is what we will do now. Let us look at the ritual for today. We will start by taking refuge in the three jewels and generating the spirit of enlightenment. After that, we will recite the Heart Sutra, the Green Tara Mantra, and finally dedicate our merits. Let's begin by taking refuge, meaning we will seek protection from the three jewels from our suffering. Why are the three jewels, the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha, worthy to be our refuge? The Buddha is a worthy refuge because he has already perfected his wisdom and compassion, meaning that he has already solved all his own problems and he has the solution to all our problems. With his perfect compassion, he will help everyone equally, including you and me. When we take sincere refuge in the Buddha, it also means that we want to follow and put into practice his teachings, which is the Dharma, to live our lives. And when we practice the Buddha's teachings, there is that community of monks and nuns and our fellow practitioners that will accompany us encourage and support us. So, the three jewels are our true refuge and best refuge in this time of uncertainty. Let us take refuge sincerely. Please put your palms together. Namo Buddhaya Namo Dhammaya Namo Sanghaya Namo Buddhaya Next, we will generate the spirit of enlightenment. This is to remind us that it is not just ourselves, but all the people around us and around the world who want happiness and avoid suffering. So, whatever that we do, we should also think of their welfare. We make this aspiration 
that we want to become as wise and as compassionate as the Buddha so that we can help all of them effectively. And the way to do that is to rely on the three jewels to develop our wisdom and compassion so that we can help all living beings effectively. So let us continue with today's puja with this motivation. Let's begin. Please put your palms together. We will recite together. I go for refuge until enlightenment to the Buddha, the teaching and the community. By the merits of practicing the six perfections, may I achieve Buddhahood in order to help living beings. I go for refuge until enlightenment to the Buddha, the teaching and the community. By the merits of practicing the six perfections, may I achieve Buddhahood in order to help living beings. I go for refuge until enlightenment to the Buddha, the teaching and the community. By the merits of practicing the six perfections, may I achieve Buddhahood in order to help living beings. Next, we are going to recite the Heart Sutra. The full name of the sutra is the Heart of the Prajna Paramita Sutra or the Heart of the Perfection of Wisdom Sutra. It contains the essence of the Buddha's teachings on the most profound wisdom, which is the perfection of wisdom. If we are able to learn and also eventually attain this wisdom, we will be able to not only liberate ourselves from cyclic existence, which is the cycle of birth and death, but also help all our loved ones and even all living beings to do so, just like the Buddha. Not only that, the Heart Sutra also has a very powerful effect of clearing away obstacles. If we recite sincerely, we can clear away many of our obstacles especially in this time of uncertainty. Let us recite with one-pointedness and sincerity to supplicate for the virus outbreak to be quickly over and that everyone will be able to find peace and happiness. Let's recite together. Heart of the Prajna Paramita Sutra when Bodhisattva Valokiteswara was practicing the profound Prajna Paramita, he illuminated the five skandhas and saw them to be empty, and he crossed beyond all suffering and difficulty. Shaliputra form does not differ from empty. Emptiness does not differ from form, form itself is emptiness. Emptiness itself is form, so to a feeling perception, formation, and consciousness. Charlie Putra Dhammas are empty of characteristics. There is no birth and no cessation. There is no impurity and no purity. There is no increase and no decrease. 
Therefore, in emptiness there is no form, feeling, perception, formation, or consciousness, no eye, no tongue, body, or mind, no sight, sound, smell, taste, touch, no dharma, no eye, that do, have to, no mind, consciousness, that do, no ignorance, no end of ignorance, some to no age in there, no end of age in there, there is no suffering, no origin of suffering, no cessation of suffering, no path, no wisdom, and no attainment, because nothing Bodhisattva Shure Lying of Prashna Paramita Have no obscuration in the mind Since there is no obscuration of mind There is no fear, the transcend force The anything complete Buddhas of the three times by means of Prajna Paramita fully awaken to unsurpassable true complete enlightenment therefore the great mantra of Prajna Paramita the mantra of dream inside the unsurpassed mantra the unequal mantra the mantra that comes or suffering should be known as true since there is no deception the Prajna Paramita mantra is said in this way Gati Gati Paragati Parasangati Bodhiswaha Heart of the Prajna Paramita Sutra When Bodhisattva Avalokiteshvara was practicing the profound Prajna Paramita He illuminated the five skandhas and saw them to be and he crossed beyond all suffering and difficulty. Chariputra from does not differ from emptiness. Emptiness does not differ from form. Form itself is emptiness. Emptiness itself is so to a feeling, perception, formation, and consciousness. Chariputra or Dhammas are empty of characteristics. There is no birth and no cessation. There is no impurity and no purity. There is no increase and Therefore, in emptiness, there is no form, feeling, perception, formation, or consciousness, no eye, no tongue, body, or mind, no sight, sound, smell, taste, charge, or dharma, no eye, that do out to no mind, consciousness, that do no ignorance, no and no ignorance, no no there is no suffering, no origin of suffering, no cessation of suffering, no harm, no wisdom, and no attainment. 
mantra, the mantra that comes of suffering should be known as true since there is no deception. The Prajnaparamita mantra is said in this way, Gati Gati Paragati Parasangati Bodhi We will next sing the mantra of Green Tara. Green Tara is a compassionate manifestation of Avalokiteshvara Bodhisattva, Guan Sing Pusa to help us when we face difficulties in our businesses, career, and activities to benefit sentient beings. We can also seek her help when faced with problems with our health. Let us now supplicate sincerely for those whose health, career, and businesses are affected by the virus outbreak to recover quickly. Let's recite together. Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Re Soha Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Re Soha Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Re Soha Tare tu, tare tu re soha. Om tare tu, tare tu re soha. Om tare tu, tare tu re soha. Om tare tu, tare tu re soha. Tare tu tare tu re 
the merits that we have accumulated through supplicating and praying to the three doers with strong aspiration for the peace and happiness of everyone around the world. We, BW Monastery Sangha community and online participants nationwide, sincerely dedicate our collection of vast merits and our virtuous practice at this puja as follows. May the COVID-19 outbreak subside swiftly in Singapore, Malaysia, and all affected countries and areas. May these countries be prosperous and peaceful. May humanity conquer their fear, and may peace prevail. May the noble and selfless frontline medical and healthcare professionals police and traffic officials, and all who are fighting the COVID-19 outbreak be healthy and well. May those whose jobs and businesses are adversely affected by the virus outbreak thrive through this difficult time. May their businesses restore and soar to even greater heights, and may our economy flourish. May all corporations, businesses, retailers, management leaders and their employees be blessed with good health, well-being and longevity. May all Sangha members, devotees, donors and their family members be well and happy. May we have favourable conditions to learn and practice the Dharma and may we advance in our spiritual practice. May our endeavours be fruitful and be free from obstacles. May all enjoy abundance. 
May the victims of the COVID-19 and all who are ill speedily recover and regain their health. May the calamities happening around the world quickly subside and may peace be upon the world. May all who have lost their lives, including plague deities, suffering ghosts and spirits, our personal karmic creditors, let go of their resentment, find peace in their hearts, be reborn in the pure land and attain enlightenment. <laughs> 